Bombshell reports tonight that President Trump's son may have known a lot more about Russia's campaign to help his father's campaign. Yeah, the New York Times says it has found a direct link between the Russian government and the Trump campaign, and the paper reports that the big link is Donald Trump Jr. KCLN political reporter Dave Bryan reports. Email, according to the New York Times report, was sent to Donald Trump Jr. by Rob Goldstone, a publicist and former British tabloid reporter who helped broker the meeting last year. The paper says Goldstone's message to Trump Jr. indicates the Russian government was the source of the potentially damaging information on Hillary Clinton. CBS News reports Goldstone represents Russian pop star Umin Agalara, for whom Donald Trump once appeared in a music video. You're fired. Agalara's father is a Russian billionaire oligarch who's not only connected to Russian President Vladimir Putin, Moscow is going to get hotter, but also helped bring President Trump's 2013 Miss Universe pageant to Moscow. Another hurdle now facing the Trump administration with new indications that White House credibility is under fire. All this after a weekend report about a previously undisclosed meeting last year where the top official of the Trump campaign at the time and two members of the president's family met with a Russian attorney tempted by the suggestion that she might have negative information on Hillary Clinton. Now the ranking Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee says the new disclosures about a meeting that was not previously Previously disclosed are significant. First time that the public has seen clear evidence of senior level members of the Trump campaign meeting with Russians to try to obtain information that might hurt the campaign of Hillary Clinton. The meeting took place in June last year at Trump Tower. Attending were three representatives of the Trump campaign. Donald Trump Jr., Trump campaign manager at the time, Paul Manafort, and the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, joined by Russian attorney Natalia Veselnitskaya with possible ties to the Kremlin. Trump Jr., who initially said the meeting was about issues with Russian child adoption issues, but later he changed his story after a New York Times report that the attorney also offered Offered possible negative information that could hurt the Hillary Clinton campaign. Just days later, CBS News reports the DNC revealed its emails were stolen by Russian hackers. Senator Mark Warner says the stream of changing stories from Trump campaign associates about meetings with Russian officials doesn't pass the smell test. The White House says the president just learned about the meeting in the past few days. I would certainly say Don Jr. did not collude with anybody to influence the election. Our position is that no one within the Trump campaign colluded uh, in order to influence the, the election. Now, Donald Trump Jr. defended himself on Twitter today, saying the meeting last year went nowhere, but he had to listen. He has now hired a criminal defense attorney and says he would be willing to cooperate with congressional investigations, which could lead to giving testimony to the Senate Intelligence Committee. So next round coming up. Huh? Yeah. Dave, how important are these news reports today, and what kind of impact do you think they're going to have on this, uh, the Russian meddling investigation? They could be important. They feel important right now, but... Tonight, it's too soon to know how much impact the reports will have because there are still about a million important details we don't know yet. But this certainly moves the meddling investigation closer than it's ever been before to not only Trump campaign associates, but his former campaign manager and his own family. And the problem for the administration is the pattern of denial, faulty memories, revised explanations. It's very much starting to feel like the Watergate investigation. It doesn't mean the outcome will be anywhere near what happened in Watergate. But the drip, drip, drip from Trump associates, and now including his own son, are killing the administration and creating massive credibility problems for the president and for the White House, Jeff.